everyone, welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Guten Tag, I am Shane. Today we're looking at day two of the city of Mozart, Salzburg, Austria. And the vocabulary words are landscape. Landscape. The neighborhood is beautifully landscaped. Craft. Craft. Allie crafted a doll out of wood. Elegant. Elegant. The design of this car is simply elegant. Souvenir. Souvenir. Jamie got everyone souvenirs from her trip to Hawaii. Ooh, so nice. She didn't get me one. Oh, I'm sorry. She gave me one. Resemble. Resemble. The man in the photo resembles my cousin.、Hmm. So we're still talking about the city of Mozart, right? That's right, Salzburg.、Mm. So, so, what so, else is there? Yeah, what else can we do? That? Well, I know there's a really cool cat. There. Because it has so much history. Yeah, who doesn't like castles, right? <laughs> and it was built in like the year 1077. That's awesome. That's so long ago. Yeah, it's、like、over a thousand years old. So I definitely want to see that. And another site is actually they have a cool palace as well.、Oh. And I know they have a pretty cool trick fountain there. Oh, okay. For the tourists. <laughs> Sounds fun. And then as well, if you can, if you like shopping, you can also do a little bit of shopping. They have like little neat boutiques and little stores. Yeah, it's like like. Historic kind of streets, right? Exactly. So it's really the atmosphere is really nice there. And then with a bunch of like elegant townhouses. Ooh, ooh, ooh.、Mm. Not only shopping, how about food? Oh, I love food. What、yeah. do they have there? They actually have something called Mozart balls. Which What are, are those? It's marzipan, which is like kind of like almond, like、okay. candy,、mm-hmm. covered with chocolate. Dark so, chocolate, right? Yeah.、Okay. So it's named after Mozart. So that's one yummy that I'm gonna eat.、Mm, and then also the sweet souffle. It's also very unique there too. Ooh, a sweet、mm. souffle. So a bunch of things that you can do in Salzburg. I mean, it's very small,、yeah. but it's very beautiful and. Definitely worth a visit. Yeah, it seems like it's very rich in history.、Mm, you are definitely so right. So I think if you go there, you will not be disappointed. That's right. All right. Okay, let's go to Salzburg. Okay. Enjoy. Auf Wiedersehen. What does that Auf mean? Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Goodbye. The city of Mozart, Salzburg, Austria. Visitors can tour Hohen Salzburg Castle. Built in 1077 and located on a hilltop overlooking the old town, another site is the Renaissance-era Hellbrunn Palace, with its landscape grounds and trick fountains that spray unsuspecting tourists. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called "The City of Mozart, Salzburg, Austria." Day two. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff, and apparently, yeah, it's Mozart and Salzburg. Sometimes you want to pronounce that Z softly and maybe say Mozart or Salzburg. Don't make that mistake. Mozart and Salzburg. Between day one and day two of our lesson, Mike, he kind of lectured me on this. Over and over again. I'm、oh, sorry, Mike. I don't believe I、I'm、did that.、Sorry. But Salzburg, yes, that's the, probably the more correct way to say it,、um, is a beautiful city in the western part of Austria, right near the Alps. It's of course famously the home of Mozart, but also, as we learned yesterday, the place where the Sound of Music. That great musical film from the early 1960s was filmed. So if you are a fan of that music or, and the movie as well, you'll want to visit. But today we're going to be looking at some of the other historical locations not so connected to music, and we are going to be saying all sorts of really fun German words、mm. too. So if you thought Mozart and Salzburg, those were challenging.、Mm-hmm. Just you wait. <laughs> Anyways, the first sentence says: Visitors can tour Hohen Salzburg Castle. Hohen Salzburg Castle,、mm. built in 1077, and located on a hilltop overlooking the old town. And yes, folks, that wasn't a typo. This Building this castle was not built in 1977 or ni- or 90,、uh, 1877. No, this was built almost a thousand years ago in 1077. Makes sense because, as we learned yesterday, Salzburg is actually 1,300 years old. So the、uh, castle is a relatively new addition. Another site is the Renaissance-era Hellbrunn Palace. With its landscaped grounds and trick fountains that spray unsuspecting tourists. Oh, how fun! Great, getting sprayed by water when I don't want to. 
Yeah. I love it too, being sprayed just with water. By the way, just the hydrate. colder the yep. water, the mm. better. The colder uh, oh, the water, yes. Nice, an ice cold, ice mm. cold water being sprayed by that, that's the best. Yes, especially in March. It's, it's mm. Especially in the middle of the winter, mm. yeah. Anyways, folks, before we move on, we got to talk about the word landscape. Now, usually when we're talking about a landscape, we're talking about the features of planet Earth, some right. land that looks really cool and really awesome in some way. Well, here, though, the word landscape isn't a noun. It's being used as a verb. Yeah, to landscape is to change land, or to change a landscape. To landscape is to change land to make it look better. Yes, when people landscape, they shape land. That's all there is to it. For example, the neighborhood is beautifully landscaped. So, yeah, there are bushes and shrubs and people mow their lawns. It's a nice neighborhood. So a park, a, a big garden, or maybe Central a... Central Park in New York City? Yeah. It's a totally, totally landscape. totally synthetic park that has been totally landscaped. It's not I think a totally natural park. There's like one or a few rocks that they left in their they natural... They were too big. They couldn't, yeah. they couldn't move them. But uh, also golf courses yeah. would be very landscaped. Fully landscaped made pieces of land. Yep. to look beautiful, but it's all made and designed that way. Very interesting stuff. Beautiful gardens. I'm sure you can find some great shots on the internet if you haven't been lucky enough to visit. We'll take a break and we'll be back with more long German words for you. Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny。萨尔斯堡有着明信片一般的自然景色。那它除了是莫扎特的故乡,也是电影真善美的主要拍摄场景。当你来到萨尔斯堡,你可以去参观新建于1077年的萨尔斯堡要
craft something is to make it using a lot of special skill. You're using your hands. You're probably using tools of some kind. If you're an artist, you will craft things out of clay or wood or something like that, and you're using maybe special tools and certainly a lot of practice. Training and skill. For example, Ali crafted a doll out of wood. She took a knife and a piece of wood, and she carved and cut and sliced and chopped. She made it with care. She made it with care with and skill. Her hands. Amazing. It was anyway, actually quite elegant. And that's the next vocabulary word of the day: the word elegant. If something is elegant, it's beautiful. In a simple way, this thing is wonderful, and it's great. But It doesn't require a whole lot of decoration or ornamentation. This thing is very simple and also very beautiful. That is important. For example, the design of this car is simply elegant. The lines are so、mm. simple and smooth and beautiful. How elegant this car is! Very classy. Absolutely. While in the old town, we read. While in the old town, stop at the green market for fresh produce and souvenirs. This is a good place to do some shopping, get some fruit and veg, maybe as a snack, and a few souvenirs to bring back home with you. What is a souvenir? Well, it's a noun. It's basically something that you buy to remember something by, especially when you are traveling. Is a little bit of French. Souvenir is the French for to remember. So it's something you buy to remember the place that you were. If you came to Taipei, for example, you might buy a souvenir that shows the Taipei One Hundred One Building.、It、could be a little plastic model or a picture of it or something like that. And for the rest of your life, whenever you see that, you'll say, "Oh, I remember traveling to Taipei when I bought that souvenir." For example, Jamie got everyone's souvenirs from her trip to Hawaii. Maybe she got them grass skirts or a nice flowery lei.、Mm. Mm. When I came back from Quebec, yeah, I got a great souvenir.、What、or souvenir I got the souvenir in Quebec. I brought back、that? a license plate from Quebec. A Quebec license plate. I'll never forget it. Okay. Did you steal it from someone's car? No. Okay. Good. I didn't steal、uh, it, but、okay. I will never ever forget it. Okay. Good. For as long as I live. Good souvenir. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 下一个要造访的景点是古物巷，那它位于萨尔斯堡旧城中心，是一个购物散步的好地方。那巷子的上方有悬挂商店招牌，每个招牌都有经过精雕细琢，为这个地区和优雅的住宅增添了独特的魅力。看起来就真的很像童话故事里面的场景。那作者提醒我们，在旧城区的时候，记得要在绿色市集停下来买一些新鲜的农产品，还有纪念品。好，文中的。Produce 不要念作 produce， 它是 produce 是当名词，表示农产品。那这边还有三个单字 ，craft，craft craft, 当名词是指工艺、手艺。那在课文里面是当动词，表示精巧的制作。那文中使用到过去分词 crafted，crafted crafted, 就是形容精巧制作的。好，下一个单字 elegant。Elegant 是形容雅致的、优美的，意思跟 classy 很相近。那 classy 是用来形容漂亮的或是别致的。刚刚 Jeff 老师说，优雅的东西不需要太多装饰就很美了。那老师用到 ornamentation。Ornamentation 这个字，它表示装饰，或者是指装饰品的总称，是不可数名词。好，至于 souvenir，souvenir souvenir 表示纪念品或是伴手礼。好，那这个字其实是来自法文 ，souvenir 在法文它有记得啊、回想起或者是记忆的意思。解法课文中 ，The city of Mozart, Salzburg, Austria. True to its Austrian roots. Salzburg is a dessert lover's dream. Among its best-known sweets are Mozart balls, candies consisting of marzipan covered in dark chocolate. Another local delight is Salzburger Nackerel, a sweet souffle that is unique to the city. The sugar-coated mounds even resemble the three mountains that surround the city center. Salzburg is often passed over in favor of larger, better-known destinations, but this small city has it all. Fine character, beautiful scenery, and a wealth of culture. Truly, a trip to the city of Mozart is one that will never disappoint. Hmm, 
Mike, I'm getting hungry right Are now. Are you? A it's lot of almost, It's almost lunchtime, but, yep. you know, I'm not in mood. I'm not in the mood, I should say, mm -hmm. for a traditional lunch. I think I'm going to eat dessert for lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't Give know you why a little bit I, of a... I don't know why I have yeah. a hankering for dessert right now. Well, some of that schnitzel that you might get might be a little heavy. Maybe you need just a little burst of energy so something uh. sweet could really hit the spot. It says, true to its Austrian roots, Salzburg is a dessert lover's dream. That must be why mm. I'm craving some dessert right now, because that's what we're going to be talking about right now. Yes, yeah. Salzburg is a dessert lover's dream. And mm -hmm. get this, among its best known sweets are Mozart balls, candies consisting of marzipan covered in dark chocolate. Ooh, that sounds very good and very sweet. Another local delight is Salzburger, Salzburger Knockerl, mm. a sweet souffle that is unique to the city. The sugar-coated mounds even resemble the three mountains that surround the city center. Wow, so it's a very impressive dessert with an impressive name, Salzburger Knockerl. A souffle is kind of like a very light flan or a very light pie. That inflates when you cook it. That inflates when you cook yeah, it. That's if, the, if you have a flat full souffle, of the chef isn't very good. The souffle's got to rise. Mm, yeah. Anyway, it says here that these sugar-coated mounds resemble mm. some mountains. That means mm. they look like these mountains. Yes, the next vocabulary word of the day is the verb resemble. If one thing resembles another thing, it looks like that thing. It looks similar to that thing. I think you guys get the idea. For example, the man in the photo resembles my cousin. He looks like my cousin. It's not your cousin. There's a, there's a striking similarity. But it's very but close, very there, there, similar. It's not my cousin. No, it's not it your cousin. It looks like him, though. It resembles him, definitely, definitely. Salzburg is often passed over in favor of larger, better-known destinations. But this small city has it all. Fine character, beautiful scenery, and a wealth of culture. It's true, a lot of people might not have time to visit Salzburg. Vienna, of course, being the capital, gets a bit more attention. But if you do have the time, do do yourself a favor. Visit Salzburg. It's got fine character, great people. It's a great atmosphere, beautiful scenery with the mountains all around. And of course, as we've learned, a wealth of culture. Truly, everyone, a trip to the city of Mozart yes. and soon to be the city of Mike as well. Maybe. Truly, a trip to the city of Mozart is one that will never, ever disappoint. Promise? Promise. Okay. All right, folks, with that, our article is now complete, but we're not quite done yet. We still have to ask and then answer the what do you think question, Mike. What do you think? Mm. What, would, what would you be most excited to do in Salzburg? Well, if I could go to Salzburg... Mozart I, balls. Well, no, but close. I would be most interested in visiting Mozart's birthplace. Since I'm a fan of his music, I've seen that great movie Amadeus several times. I think it would be kind of cool to see some of the real history and not sort of the Hollywood history of the great Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Mozart. beloved beloved by God. Mm. That's what his middle name means. Really? Amadeus, yeah. Beloved oh, by God. Beloved by God. Yeah. Amazing. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to end our lesson, but don't go away. We'll be back with more after this. I have a hankering for dessert. Hankering 这个字呢，它有向往或是渴望的意思，是当名词。好，那其实萨尔斯堡呢是甜点爱好者的天堂。它其中一种最有名的甜食就是莫扎特巧克力。那另外一种当地美食是萨尔斯堡松糕，这是这座城市独有的甜味苏芙蕾。课文就提到说，这种甜点呢，裹上糖粉的山丘形状，就像是围绕市中心的三座山一样。好，那看完这两天的介绍，同学们会发现，萨尔斯堡这座小城市它应有尽有，风景啊、文化啊、美食、音乐等等。哦，看来我必须把它列入下一次出国旅游的清单里了。那我们最后来看单字 ，resemble。Resemble， 它是动词，表示跟什么相像，或者是指类似。而补充单字 mound， 
mound， 它是当名词来表达小丘或者是土堆或者是一堆。好啦，那么以上是这个讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍六个文法重点。第一个是 which 引导关系子句的非限定用法。第二个是 at 什么什么 to 什么什么。第三个是 along with。第四个是 pass over。第五个是 in favor of。第六个是 a wealth of 加上名词。首先，我们来学习 which 引导关系子句的非限定用法。Which 做关系代名词，可以用来代指是事物的先行词。当先行词是明确或特定的事物时 ，Which 所引导的形容词子句是用来补充说明先行词。Which 的前方必须加上逗号，这就是非限定用法。例如 ，Jack's new car, which he bought last month, seats seven people. Jack 的新车可以坐七个人，那一辆车是他上个月买的。句中的关系子句 which he bought last month 是用来补充说明先行词 Jack's new car。接下来，我们来学习 at 什么什么 to 什么什么，表示增添什么东西在什么什么，或者是替什么东西增添的什么。例如 ，His body language and facial expressions added vividness to his story。他的肢体语言和脸部表情为他的故事增添了活泼生动的效果。接着，我们来学习片语介系词 along with， 表示以及或是除了什么之外，这是用来附加资讯。Along with 前方的名词是重点，因此句中的动词要配合 along with 前方的主词。例如 ，My best friend along with her husband and daughter is coming over for dinner。我最要好的朋友以及她的老公和女儿要来我们家吃晚餐。句中的动词是配合 along with 前方的主词 my best friend， 因此是用第三人称单数动词 is。接下来，我们来学习 pass over， 表示不选择什么，忽略什么。这个片语动词是及物用法，它的受词可以是人或是事物。那常常用被动语态 somebody or something be passed over 来表达，例如。The town is often passed over by tourists heading south to the beaches. 那个小镇常常被前往南边海滩的观光客给掠过。接着，我们来学习 in favor of 表示选择什么什么而不选什么，也就是指宁愿选择什么。例如 ，The original design was rejected in favor of a new one. 新的设计被选上，而原本的设计被拒绝驳回了。最后，我们来学习 a wealth of 加上名词，这表示大量或是众多的某事物。其中的名词可以是复数可数名词或是不可数名词。例如 ，She gained a wealth of experience at that job. 她在那份工作中获取丰富的经验。以上是今天的重点整理，我们下次见喽。See you next time. Bye. <音樂>欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是季安。跟好久不见的亲友们见面，大家难免会品头论足。比如说啊，那个三姑妈、五姑婆保养真好，你知道他们家小孩子一点都没变，还是要洗高跟那么。<笑>对，洗衣拿。喂喂，好，那我们这个嘴巴甜一点，皮绷紧一点。OK， 我们今天要教大家如何跟亲友互相恭维，外貌的改变与不变。嗯、比如说，你看看你，一点都没变啊、uh, ！Look at you， 是不是 ？You haven't changed a bit。Look at you，you you haven't changed a bit。Look at you，you you haven't changed a bit。啊，如果对方变得好好看哦，他整形整得好好，我都快认不出来了，怎么说？那就是 I hardly recognize you。I hardly recognize you。I hardly recognize you。我都认不出来的，那记得后面要接赞美啊，因为你都没有讲好的话，他就说你在暗示怎样，我被安装被他就摆嘛。没、嗯嗯，我还想说，哦，你的身材好好哦，好好哦，嗯，他说 You are in good shape， You are in good shape， 嗯，身材真好，真好对对对，那对方可能啊，对了，我瘦了几公斤呐、啊，哈、嗯，你就说 I've lost a few kilos。
I've lost a few kilos. Mm-hmm. 有时候我们还说啊，你好漂亮啊！好美呀、啊、！You are gorgeous. You are gorgeous. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. 你也可以用 fabulous. Fabulous. You are fabulous. You are fabulous. 嗯，那还有一个字呢，可以通杀男生女生，都是用用什么字 ？Stunning. Stunning. Stunning. 就是哦，好闪亮，好漂亮，好帅，帅到惊惊呆了哈、哦！就是用 stun 这个字。所以呢，比如说他，你穿这个衣服好好看哦。被杀杀。对 ，You look stunning in that gray suit. You look stunning in that gray suit. 嗯哼。哦，还有女生喜欢被称在那个皮肤好好、胶原蛋白都还在呢。胶原蛋白真好啊 ！OK， you have gray skin. You have gray skin. 嗯，就是你皮肤好好哦，肤质真好。You have gray skin. 哦，那如果好到像悠悠这个样子，有没有？就是无瑕肌，找不出任何的瑕疵。这个时候我们就可以说 ，Your skin is flawless. Your skin is flawless. Your skin is flawless. 啊，我的皮肤真是白胖胖又迷迷。You are flawless. Yes, I know. 好，我们来看一下今天的 live action. <笑> You are my cousin, Jay. Ah, Yo Yo. Yes, yes. Look at you. You, you haven't changed a bit. Really? Yes. You, you look really gorgeous.、Oh, thank you. And I can hardly recognize you.、Oh, you look so different now. Well, I lost a few kilos. Oh. That's great. That's great. You are in good shape, and you look stunning in that grace.、Mm-hmm. Thank you. And you have <laughs> you have great skin.、Oh. Your skin is flawless. 